is Paul. Yes. <laughs> I was looking at this Fifth Amendment explanation of the mistrial. Yes. <laughs> mistrial is a serious procedural error that stops the trial. <laughs> if at any time prior to the verdict a judge declares a mistrial, mm -hmm, it becomes void and does not prevent the accused from being tried again. Ooh. <laughs> a mistrial might be declared in any case in which the judge feels the ends of justice cannot be served. Oh, the mistrial. Mm. Now, a judge would have to feel the ends of justice cannot be served. Oh, well, you would have thought that Judge Porter would have declared a mistrial when he found out. I did not receive any personal service, and you can't have a court hearing without proof of service. Yes. Now, for some reason, and court commissioner based and thought that we can issue protection orders without protecting the due process rights of the respondent, <laughs> without requiring the signature of the petitioner, and you can't issue a court order if the petitioner doesn't acknowledge it or doesn't appear in court. Pooch. <laughs> In fact, you can't issue a protection order unless the petitioner <laughs> institutes the actual court hearing. Now, I know there's some big questions about this, okay? <laughs> but you would have thought that Judge Porter would have felt that it was a mistrial. Ouch! But now he decided to fuck me over! Now, as the accused at my own peril, being very humble, like I can be, pooch, I said, Judge, <laughs> I was not given personal service or service by publication, pooh, <laughs> but you continued with the trial without any actual documentation of what the true threat was, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. without the admitting of any evidence that I wasn't in Squim, Washington, because my public defender <laughs> didn't want to get the video camera surveillance that I was on the bus that morning, pooch. Without admitting the evidence of the email that I sent at that exact moment of the 4.48 p.m. <clears throat> where it was impossible for me to be in Squim and Port Angeles at the same time. <laughs> and then I missed my mental health evaluation because of blood nausea. <clears throat> but I emailed law enforcement and explained what as a response to the judge requesting me to be in court. I just need notice from the state of jurisdiction requiring me to be there. Pooh! But the public defender's office thought that the judge could just order anybody to appear in court without having to have, this, have the state of jurisdiction. See, it's a kind of an exception to this rule about wanting to reschedule a mental health evaluation and giving the actual dates when I was available and wanting to look my best for it. <laughs> now, this concept of court-ordered mental health evaluations, yes, it seemed that you didn't have the evidence to convict me of the crime, so you wanted to label me, yes, Slander me, pooch, libel me, po, as being schizophrenic, mm -hmm. delusional, pooch, bipolar. <laughs> and when you refuse to remove the protection order because you just can't admit any wrongdoing as a police state, you decided to arrest me again a year later. <clears throat> now, I wasn't in Brennan, Washington. Yes. Now, I'm concerned about this cyber stalking. Mm hmm. I had heard while I was on trial in Jefferson County that the prosecuting attorney said that he had the evidence that I allegedly had said in an email, yes, that I wanted to blow her face off. <laughs> Is that a true threat? Oh, oh, oh. Did somebody send an email in my name alleging some sort of true threat? Violence! Violence! <laughs> Now, when you don't allow the accused the right to see the evidence, and you won't allow the accused the right to have their civil rights enforced, and you just have to continue with the trial. <laughs> For every time that I had a mental health evaluator interrogate me without the authority of law, <laughs> you're really just trying to fuck my life up so that you can arrest me again and try to find something else wrong with me, <laughs> so that I end up in prison because of all the times you arrested me. <laughs> 